What's going on everyone? My name is Under the Radar and welcome back to the APA. This is going to be the week eight battle. Yes, the week eight battle. And we are going up against the something Nuzleafs. Can't even pronounce it. Not even going to try because I'm just going to sound like an idiot. Um, but as always, the links will be down in the description below to my opponent and to everybody else in the league. Uh, real quick, rundown of the team if you did not watch the team builder that I have not yet recorded because I didn't know that this battle was going to happen tonight. I'm bringing a Choice Scarfed Infernape, an Adamant Wall Breaking Altaria, a Specially Defensive Empoleon, a Stallbreaker Mew that has a lot of Fizz Def investment, an AV Raichu, and a Phasing Bulky Licky Licky. So that's fun. I'm looking forward to this game. Looking forward to getting it done. We were supposed to play this about two weeks ago, and we didn't for reasons that should be remain unsaid. We're just gonna go ahead and get this battle going. But I've been wanting to get this game done for a while, and I'm going out of town tomorrow, uh, which is actually not when you guys will be seeing this. You guys will be seeing this on Sunday, when I'm on my, when I'm about to come home. So he didn't bring Salazzle, that's really, really good. I was really worried about Salazzle in this team build, uh, but he did bring a lot of things that just lose to Mega Altaria, especially if I can get up a Dragon Dance. Um, he does have a couple of rockers, none of which enjoy my Mew. He also brought um, the Mega Pidge, which is pretty much what my Raichu is there to beat. Um, so if I can get up rocks early on in the game, I'll be sitting pretty. And if I can weaken the Vaporeon or just take it out, um, my Infernape will also be pretty good. But since he has his Rhyperior or his uh, Jirachi as his Stealth Rockers, I'm going to lead off with my Mew. My Mew has a significant amount of speed investment, if I do recall. Yeah, it has 116 EVs. So if he's a really bulky Jirachi meant to set up rocks, uh, he won't be able to beat me. And I'll be able to Super Fang him, knock him off, do things like that. Oh, man. Oh, man. So he could be Calm Mind. Uh, in two of my mocks, I believe I saw Calm Mind Jirachi and I saw Calm Mind... Um, What's it called? Call Mind Lottie. I actually saw them on the exact same team too. So it's possible for them to be dual Call Mind users. Um, let me see. Have fun, man. Almost told, forgot to say have fun. Um, but yeah, I'm a little worried about this game because I'm doing so well in this league. I need this win <laughs> to be able to stay in the top of my division because my division right now is very, 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 very close. We have six teams right now that have six, uh, I'm sorry, three teams right now out of the four that have six wins. So I need to keep up, uh, I need to keep up the win. We sent out Eon, that is the Lottie. That's fine, that is totally fine. Uh, mainly because what I can do here is I can knock off, uh, I live a devastating Drake from full, I believe. I do love a Devastating Drake from full. Um, part of me wants to just switch out directly into my Licky Licky because Licky Licky only has this thing to deal with. It doesn't really have much of anything else. And I do really want to keep this thing healthy. And I can always Dragon Tail this thing out if it decides to Calm Mind in my face. If he decides to first turn Z move, my Licky Licky can take it pretty well. Devastating Drake does 67% max, but he goes for Shadow Ball. That's fine. So what I'm going to do here is I think I'm just going to click Knock Off. Scout for a Z move. I'll be able to knock off any item. I didn't take a picture of his team. Let me do that real quick. Let me do that real quick. Focus, phone, whatever. Good enough. Um... Yeah, I do think that just clicking Dragon Tail here is the overall best play. I'll get a little bit of chip damage off on something. Now I'm going to click Knock Off, because I want to get rid of whatever item this thing has. If it has a Z Crystal, I want to know. If if he has a Cobra Berry, that'd be nice to know too. Uh, but he's going to go out into the Horn, which I assume is the Rhyperior, which it is. Just fine. I get to get rid of this thing's Lefties or Berry or whatever it could be holding. 
Rindo Berry, sweet. So, there's a couple of things that I could do here, uh, but I think the best thing for me to do is just to go into my Mega Altaria, because I can tank any one hit and I can Mega Evolve and get off my Mega Evolution before he gets his rocks up. If I'm not mistaken, Hyperior. He is. Yeah, return does 37 to 43, which it looks like he's just about in range of. Uh, if he has no defense investment, let me see something from my Licky Licky. I have 54 seconds. Knockoff did a lot. Why did Knockoff do so much? Seconds. I think my best play is just to go into my Mew, actually. Because by going into my Mew, I can Super Fang this thing. I don't want to risk him going for an Ice Punch on me. That would be very good. And if he does make the prediction and goes for an offensive move, which he does, and he just gets up his rocks, which is a good play. I'm actually not bringing Hazard removal this week. Um, but that is still fine because what I can do is I can go for a Super Fang here and get off some really good damage on something. And if it's this thing, then it's instantly in range of my Mega Altaria's, um, it's instantly in range of my Mega Altaria's frustration or return. I forget which one I have. I have return. So I do land the Super Fang, which is really nice. Puts him right down to a little bit. He goes for the Toxic. This happened in every single one of my mocks. I don't care. I have Heal Bell on my Licky Licky. And because of the team he brought, I can Heal Bell this thing very, very easily. And now that he's poisoned, I can actually just roost off the damage. Whatever damage I take, I can just roost it off. Um, I would have rather him poison me than I taunt him, honestly. Really, really would have. So, let's see. I kind of sort of just want to go for a knockoff because I don't want to risk miss missing a Super Fang. And if he switches into like his Jolt, uh, I'm sorry, not his Jolteon, his Jirachi or his uh, Lottie, then I'll be able to get off, get rid of that thing's item. But he is going to go for the Earthquake here. So. I'm just going to do 207 to 132. Alright, I was a little bit below 207, I believe. Uh, since he's going for Earthquake, now I am going to risk my Altaria. My Altaria. Because there's no way he's going to go for a Rock move now. He's revealed... Yeah. If he does go for a rock move, I do still have the means necessary to beat his um, Mandibuzz and his Vaporeon. So that's what I'm going to do. Expect him to Earthquake again because it is a little bit stronger than Rock Slide. If he makes the prediction here, good play on his part. He did go for EQ again. Nice. So now I get my Mega Evolution off for free, and I can just go for a... Ooh. Actually, I might not, depending on what he goes into. I didn't expect Poison to kill him. I thought he was out of range of Poison. Hmm. I can still get my Mega Evolution off against his Mandibuzz whenever that thing comes in. And now his Electric Immunity is gone. He also doesn't have a very reliable way of just straight up killing my Empoleon. If he goes into his Jirachi here, I'm going to expect him to be Calm Mind Jirachi. I'm not going to expect him to go straight for the Iron Head. Uh, but no matter what, I am going to go into my Empoleon and I'm going to probably get up my rocks. 
make a wish yep that is definitely Jirachi so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go directly into my Empoleon uh, my Empoleon is designed to beat any variant of Jirachi outside of special with Thunderbolt like if he's the flinching set is what I mean let's see if he goes for a flash cannon he went for u-turn okay that's still fine because he can't kill this thing with any one hit like, he can't kill this thing with literally anything. Even Lottie's Gigavolt Havoc, I don't think, kills. It does 94.2 maximum. And I'm at 90, so it is a roll if he's Gigavolt Havoc. I don't really see a need for me to risk it, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my Licky Licky here. Uh, if he has Gigavolt Havoc, this will be the time for him to bring him at, for him to bring it out. Um, for Thunderbolt, so he didn't go for Gigavolt Havoc. I don't know what item he is. I don't know what item he is. Like going, like I feel like he's scarfed. Devastating Drake does not kill me. Part of me really wants to go for Dragon Tail. So I can get off the 30% I need on this thing. Um, if I go for Knock, he has a Z Crystal. Thirty-four to forty-two. I'll go for knock. Let's see if he has a Z crystal. I think he will. He's switching. I think he's scarfed, man. I really do. I really think this thing is scarfed. And I'm fine with him going into this because I can actually wish up on this thing, and I get rid of whatever item he has. Lefties. That's fine. Totally fine. I'm going to wish up first, as he's probably going to knock here. He might go for U-turn. Either way, I get up my wish. Goes for foul play. This shouldn't do a whole, whole lot, because I don't have a whole lot of attack. Yeah, that doesn't do much at all. So I can go for the wish. <laughs> then I'm going to go for the heal bell to get the toxic off of my Mew. And then I'm going to go for another wish, and then I'm going to switch into my Mew. It's gonna be how this turn goes. If he switch, if he switches out, then that's fine. Um, yeah, that's fine. So I'm really starting to think that this Latios is choice scarfed. Really starting to think it's choice scarfed, but he just goes for foul play again. Okay, I'll get back up to full. Well, close to it. But now I get the poison off, so that's really, really nice for me. I knew that this game was going to be a long game to start out with. Like, he has a Blissey, Mandibuzz, Vaporeon core. Like, it's just obvious that it was going to be a long game. Okay, so what I'll do here is I will throw up another Wish. Let's see what he does. I would like to get up my rocks. <laughs> Soon. <laughs> it's been 12 minutes in and I don't have my rocks up yet. And rocks are super important. He's going to continuously foul play me. Don't know why. So 
So part of me does just want to go for Dragon Tail here because I'll get this thing back up to full health. But at the same time, I do really want to heal up my Mew. I'm at 57, so I'll be at 45%, and Foul Play does a maximum of 44%. Hmm. It sucks because I made this thing bold, but I forgot to take out my attack EVs. Even though I do have knockoff, I did mean to go with bold. I just forgot to take out my attack EVs. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna go into my uh, into my Mew. I know that foul play does 44% maximum. There is no way it can kill me. I will live this 100% of the time. And then for you turn, that's fine. I still get up the good amount of health that I need, and I have in one of my really bulky mons that I want to be in. Probably should have gone for the foul play there, expecting a crit, or hoping for the crit. Because now, he can go into Lottie, but... Objection. Pidge. Okay. So here's where I go directly into my Empoleon. Nothing this thing can do to me will do more than 50%. Like, Heatwave does 26% maximum. Worst case scenario, he confuses me. <laughs> That's a worst case scenario. If he goes for U-turn right here, he doesn't really have anything that can come in on Empoleon anyway. Um, like... Latios' Thunderbolt does 49.2%. So I kind of do just want to get in my rocks here. If he breaks out the Z-move here, then good play on him. However, I really don't think he has it. And even then, it is a roll to kill me with Gigavolt Havoc. So I'm going to get in my rocks here. Try to pressure him a little bit. Actually, do I want to get on my rocks or do I want to ice beam? I think I need to get up my rocks. Yeah, I'm going to get up my stealth rocks here. He went for a psychic. Yes! He, he expected my, uh, my what's it called to come in. Not my what's it called. You know what I meant. But now if he wants to defog, he has to defog away the rocks on my side of the field, and I'm fine with that. I am completely fine with that. And now I am free to fire off an Ice Beam. Because I will get off a solid 45% on this thing, so he's not Scarfed. That's really good information. This still doesn't kill me. And this Ice Beam, let's see how much damage this Ice Beam does. Did just under 50%. The seems like he's about the spread that he should be to outspeed my um my what's it called my inferno so i think what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go into my licky licky again and now i'm going to start dragon tailing around because now that i have rocks up i'm not going to let him switch for free on me I'm just not going to anymore. Uh, he might be able to think that he can switch into his Mandibuzz for free on me, but he's going to be taking 25% to rocks, and then he will take uh, about 12% to the Dragon Tail as well. So he goes for Thunderbolt again. Shouldn't do a whole, whole lot because I'm Licky Licky. Yep. And I think I'm still out of range of a Draco. This 
45%. Yep, I'm out of range of a Draco. So, I'm going to click Dragon Tail. He thinks that he can go in. I'm hoping he goes into his Mandibuzz, honestly, because that 25% plus the uh, plus the Dragon Tail damage, when he comes back in, he'll take another 25%. I think he'll be in range of even Empoleon's Ice Beam. Which my Empoleon won't outspeed him, but it'll at least force him to make a decision whether he has to roost up or defog. And then he either uh, risks the freeze. So, I'm hoping, hoping he goes into his main buzz right here. Hoping he goes into his main buzz. This team is also looking very weak to him for an ape. He hasn't brought in his, um, he's going to go for Psychic. This will not kill me. Nope, nowhere near it. And Dragon Tail connects. Gonna get rid of that thing, and he is just in range to die. Oh, well, he's just out of range to live. Um, to live Rock's re-entry. So, now that he's in with his Vaporeon... Was 20% maximum. I'm at 61, so I'm at 28. I really want to set up a wish, expecting him to either switch or go for a wish himself. He's gonna withdraw. Does he go into his Mandibuzz? He, go, he goes into his Mandibuzz, which I'm fine with. Again, I am fine with. This thing cannot kill me from this range, I do not think. Nope. Can't kill me with foul play. So now, uh, he can either defog or roost up. If he defogs, that's good for me. So I'm going to click Dragon Tail here. His Lottie is very weakened. He goes for Defog and gets rid of his rocks for me. Now, it's very easy for me to get my rocks up against him, because all I have to do is get in my Empoleon against either his Mandibuzz, his Jirachi, or his Vaporeon. And drops in the freaking Lottie again right after I get my fat, fat wish back. Nice. Okay. So I think I'm going to click Dragon Tail again. Because either he stays in and I kill off his Lottie, or he switches out and I get off a little bit more chip damage on something. This is such a long and boring game. So he sacks off his Lottie right here, which is really, really good. Because now he has no offense whatsoever. He does get the Spadef drop, but I do land the Dragon Tail and I'm going to take out this Lottie. So that's really, really nice. That's really, really nice. Um, I'm gonna put kills here. Um, Rhyperior dies to his own toxic, and then Licky Licky kills Latios. Cool. So, uh, I don't know what he plans to do. I really don't because he does not have a way to kill this thing reliably. His best answer to like, killing this thing is his Mega Pidge. And now, now that he has uh, gotten rid of rocks on my side of the field, I'm going to go into my answer, which is my Alolan Raichu. Um, Hurricane does nothing to me pretty much. doesn't confuse me. U-turn does 57%. So I'm going to click Volt Switch here. U-turn does not kill me, even if he's naive. Does 62% maximum, and I'm at 104. Yep, does not kill me no matter what. 
And if he switches out into anything, I get all of the offensive momentum. So he goes for hidden power. This will not kill me and I'll get off a nice volt switch. Um, shout out to the assault vest. So now he's so weak. Holy crap. So now I know he's hurricane, hidden power, ground. Do I lose anything from just clicking close combat with my Infernape? LeBron Apes. Close combat to 67 to 79 to Porion. To Vaporeon, it does 35 to 43. I don't lose anything from going into my uh, to my Infernape here. Because I can click close combat. Jirachi can't switch in. It's easily 2 a KO'd. Uh, so I'm going to click close combat here. It'll force in his Vaporeon, which means I'll get to drop in my, my Empoleon and I'll get up my rocks. And, uh, yeah, that'll be nice. If he sacks this thing off, he has no offensive pressure on his entire team, and I get to pretty much just click buttons with my, um, my Mega Altaria. But he goes into Bird. This thing is going to be dropped on its neck. Actually, that didn't do anything. Yeah, 28%. He's a little bit over that. However, this is just what I needed to get in my Mega Altaria. This is just what I needed. And because he doesn't really have a good switch into it, uh, I can almost pretty freely uh, click um, Earthquake. So I don't really want to click return and give his um and give his Drachi a free switch in that's what i was looking for okay so i can click earthquake here pretty much for free if he goes into his Jirachi, I get off some really good damage, potentially break a Shookaberry, which it looks like he does not go into that. He goes into his Vaporeon, which I'm still a little fine with because uh, Vaporeon. Let's see if he's Fizz Def. Earthquake should do about 23 to 27. And yeah, it looks like he's about Fizz Def. Ice Beam does 40 to 48% to me. This is my chance to Dragon Dance up. Because if he goes for Ice Beam, I live it unless he's offensive, which I don't think he is, judging by that Earthquake damage. If he goes for Ice Beam, uh, I can guarantee live this. He goes for Scald, so he's going to go for the Burns. I wish I would brought Facade. I didn't even think about that. Don't burn me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Plus one. 63 to 74. He's out of range of that. Unfortunately, I do have to risk this one more time. Unfortunately. All right, let's see. This will also reveal if he has Roar. Um, probably should have clicked Return there. Does he have Roar? He does have Roar. Okay, so that's really good information. Um, what does he drop me into? Infernape, I'm fine with this because what I can do is I can click U-turn. I 
Kind of wish I had just clicked return there when I was at plus one. Because it would have done a really good amount of damage to him and it would have weakened it significantly. Um... However, I want my rocks up. Two Scalds won't be able to kill me. He can go for a Wish. I don't care. So now that he went for a Wish, I'm not going to allow him to pass this into his, um... Into his Pidge. Yeah, I can't allow him to pass it into Pidge. Uh, Vaporeon... Vaporeon Scald has no way of beating me 1v1, so I'm going to click Ice Beam here. I cannot let him get this pass off into his Pidge. I just realized, I don't think I had sound on. I haven't had sound on this entire game. Well, it's on now. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> so he does just go for the Scald. Oh my gosh, no. My TV's up. <laughs> my B. My B. I forgot I was watching the video earlier. So, he does go back up to full health. However, I now get my rocks up. And that means that until he defogs them away, he cannot switch in his Pidgeot, which is big. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click Stealth Rock. And then, once I have up my rocks, I'm going to go into my Mew and I'm going to start stall breaking him. Because at this rate, if we do go to timer, I will win because I will have more mons. I do have a wish passer. Well, granted, he does too, but it's harder for him to pass wishes on me than it is on him because I brought a more offensive team than he did. And I have rocks and he doesn't. What's he going to do? So he's going to withdraw into Bird. And I get up my rocks, so this is cool. Also, fun fact of the day... I'm actually out of range of Hidden Power Ground from his Mega Pidgeot. I'm fully expecting him to go for, um, to go for Defog here. So I'm going to make the Risky Switch into my, um, into my Alolan Raichu. That was the word I was looking for. If he goes for Foul Play, good play on him, but I still have Rocks up. And now... I think I'm gonna click Thunderbolt on this thing to see if he wants to scout for the roost. Um, if he does do that, I can then drop in my Mega Altaria. And then I can finish it off, and then I can just spam return against his team for a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna click Thunderbolt here. See what his switch in is. See if he goes for roost, if he goes for foul play. Uh, I expect him to go for roost, honestly. Expect me to Volt Switch, but he goes for Foul Play. That's fine. Completely fine. Completely fine, because this allows me to go into my Mega Altaria, and I can actually Dragon Dance up now. And this time, I think I can win with it. Plus one foul play is doing 36% maximum. Part of me does just want to click return and kill this thing. Part of me does want to do that. Because if I do that, I can spam close combat or like 
across his team. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click return. If he decides to switch out here, thinking that he can roost up on some of my fatter mons, like my um, Licky Licky, I'm not going to allow that. And also, now he has to go into his Mega Pidge to kill me, I think. Actually, I don't even think a Hurricane will kill me. He can go into his Jirachi, but... Yeah, he went into his Jirachi. Which is cool. Which is cool. I'm going to go directly into my Empoleon. Now, if I can get up rocks, they're here to stay. And his Mega Pidgeot, I think, is dead. I think it's at 25%. Um, Taria kills Mandibuzz. Okay. Um, Mandibuzz kills Raichu. So he goes for U-turn again. I do not understand what is going on. Hidden Power Ground does 34% maximum. I'm sitting at 60%. Or I'm at sitting at 60 HP, so I'm at 31. I really want to save this Empoleon because it deals with his Jirachi really, 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 really well. Um, while Licky Licky doesn't do a whole, whole lot this game, and he's going to go for Hidden Power Ground here trying to kill me off. Um... And after one more hit of life, uh, one more turn of leftovers, I'll be out of range of hidden power ground. He goes for a roost. Okay. Okay, that was a good play. That was a good play indeed. However... Hurricane does 40% maximum to me. I'm sitting at 163. Sitting at 75%. I don't think it'll kill me. I'm going to go for a wish. I'm at 90 HP. I'm at 41%. Hurricane has quite literally no chance to kill me. Believe it or not, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pass this wish into my Empoleon. What HP am I sitting at again? I'm sitting at 60. I'm at 31 into... It does 29 to 34. You know what? I'm gonna click Dragon Tail. I can't risk him going for Hidden Power Ground here and him killing my, uh, yep, I couldn't risk it. I could not risk it. To where now I get off a little tiny bit more chip damage off on this thing, about 15 to 20% or so. And, uh, it forces in something on his team that he will not like. Because now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up another Wish and then I'm gonna get it into my Empoleon. I'm gonna get up Rocks and I think that'll be what seals up this game. So he has Roost, Hidden Power, Ground, Hurricane, and U-Turn. He goes for a Scald. Does he get the burn? He does get the burn. Not like it really matters now, because this thing is literally just utility for the entire game. And... Now, I'm going to switch it directly into my Empoleon. I'm going to get back the Wish. Get up my rocks. Actually, Mega Pidge should die to an Ice Beam. And it can't kill me with anything. And his Jirachi is only gone for U-Turn. So he stayed in. Is he going to try to pass a, pass a wish himself? Nope. 
does zero. Does he get the burn? He does not get the burn. Now I get up my rocks. I get up my rocks. And now what's unfortunate for him and what's unfortunate for you guys watching is that he struggles to kill. He struggles to kill my Empoleon. He's going to go for Wish. And now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to spam Ice Beam. I'm not going to let him go into his Mega Pidge. If I can prevent him from going into his Mega Pidge, I should be good to go. I mean, no matter what, right now, it's... It's looking like it's going to go down to timer. I'm going to click Ice Beam. If he stays in, uh, he wasted a wish, and then I get to go into something else. Um, if he goes into his Pidge, I kill it. If he goes into his Jirachi, it's going to be taking an Ice Beam plus Rocks, but it's going to get it back with the wish gonna withdraw is he going into pidge nope he went into his jirachi just fine totally fine nice little chip damage so this thing cannot beat me 1v1 unless he's thunder punch if he is thunder punch i get to go directly into my mew and i get to click knock off or i get to uh click super fang on something I'm gonna click Roar. I'm gonna click Roar, expecting him to U-turn. He goes for Drain Punch. Let's see how much damage this does. That does some good damage. It does some good damage, I'm not gonna lie. However, let's see if I can get in this Mega Pidge. Yeah, nice. So we'll take 25%. He's now forced to Roost Up. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go for a Scald, actually. Because if he decides to roost up, that Scald damage will be really, really nice, and I could potentially get a burn. Stronger than Ice Beam as well. See how much damage the skull does. Nice damage. Nice damage. And I get the burn. And I get the freaking burn. So right now it's saying. Actually, I'm at 80. I'm at 110 HP. Skull's doing 36 to 44. Uh, I'm going to continuously spam Scald. Yeah, no, I'm going to clear Roar. I'm going to get him out of there. I'm going to get him out of there. I'm expecting him to switch into his... Uh... Ooh, okay, he stayed in. So now whenever he comes back in, he's going to be at very, very little amounts of HP. But Porion comes in, which is what I wanted, essentially. Because... What I want to do... I'm going to do the exact same thing I did earlier, and I'm going to go into my Licky Licky. I'm going to click Wish, go back into my Empoleon. I might click Dragon Tail, uh, just so that way he can't Wish Pass into his uh, Mega Pidge. Does go for the Scald, that's fine. This is a really long game, and I'm so sorry you guys are having to sit through this. If you guys are still watching up until this point, please leave a like for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, uh, I would greatly appreciate to know how you guys feel about games like this. Like, do you enjoy playing them? Do you enjoy playing thought-out games where you have to think about every single move uh, to where it could potentially come down to timer? Uh, do you enjoy uh, watching them? I know I don't enjoy watching them personally, but to each their own, you know? So now, now that I have this wish up... What I'm going to do here is I'm going to click Knock Off. If he goes into his Pidge, I believe it'll kill. Uh, burnt. Knock Off does 8 to 10. It'll be close. 
Either way, what it what knockoff does is it prevents his uh, Scarf Jirachi from winning late game. Yeah, I want to click knockoff. If he stays in, then I'll get rid of his lefties. If he goes into his Jirachi, I get rid of its Scarf. Yeah, let's see how much damage this does. I, I don't think it'll kill. Oh no, there's no way it's killing. However, uh, it's very, 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 very weak. Oh, I forgot. Vaporeon has like a metric crap ton of HP. I forgot about that. So what I actually want to do is I want to click Dragon Tail. If he stays in when he comes back in, he'll be at 50%, uh, which is instantly in range of... Uh, what's it called? Mega Altaria. He hasn't gotten a single confusion off of Hurricane, which is very unfortunate for him. Alright, I'm not complaining. Okay. The thing is, he needs to... He needs to make some decisions as to how we can win this game, because otherwise, it is going to go to timer and he's going to lose no matter what. Um, at this point in time, I don't really feel the need... <laughs> To try to win as long as I don't lose, if that makes sense. Okay, so what's he gonna do? I'm gonna click Wish here. He's also Physical Jirachi, which is confirmed because he went for Drain Punch, which is really nice for me. Um, but I'm gonna throw a Wish up. Went into Objection, I'm cool with this. It's gonna take a little bit more rocks. So I'm really expecting him to roost up right now. Really expecting him to roost up. So because of that, I'm going to go into my Mega Altaria. I can live a Hurricane guaranteed. The worst case scenario is that he confuses me. I can live a Hurricane guaranteed. He won't be able to go into his uh, Jirachi on me for free because it'll take a big ol' Uh, return. He does go for Roost, so this is nice. I now have my Mega Altaria uh, back up to full health. I do not outspeed this thing at plus one, so that means I do just have to click Return, unfortunately. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to click Return, because I don't outspeed this thing at plus one. If he goes into his Jirachi, it'll be some good chip damage. He does go for Hurricane. He does land it. Please do not confuse me. Sweet. So Mega Pidge is down. Mega Pidge is down. Nice. Nice, nice, freaking nice, dude. Mega Altaria kills Mega Pidge Mounts. Okay, so now we're back to this. I just have to go into my Empoleon here. It beats this thing pretty much indefinitely, uh, unless he goes for a Drain Punch right here, which I don't think he will. I think he's going to go for Iron Head. Uh, if he switches up his moves, then that means that he's not Scarf, and that means my Infernape just gets to come in and click Flare Blitz on it and beat it, uh, especially late game. He cannot flinch me down, because as you will see, I think I'm going to gain the exact amount that he can do back to me. And if he switches out into his Vaporeon right here, that's fine. I will, I'll go into my Mew, um, and then I'll be able to Super Fang knock off, and I'll be able to beat that thing one v one as well. In fact, I could honestly go directly into, I could go into my Mega Altaria, and I could Dragon Dance up, or I could click Return a couple of times. I would rather go into my Mew and click Knock Off because I can get rid of this thing's lefties, guaranteeing that it's too KO'd by uh, Return. Um, he goes into his own into his Jirachi, which I'm okay with, because uh, I get to scout out what move he's going to go for. It's taking a little bit more rocks damage. This thing is definitely choice scarfed. 
Trace Scarfed Iron Head to my mute is 26% maximum. So I'm going to click knock off here and hope I break through one of the times. It's a 40% chance for me to break through. It's been 56 turns. Holy crap. 56 turns. Also, I'm going to give a quick plug to a game that I normally don't do. I normally don't do this on my channel. However, I'm going to give a very quick plug to a new game that I've been playing called Digimon Lynx. Holy crap. Absolutely amazing game. If you guys like Digimon, if you like Dual Links, like anything along that lines, I strongly suggest you download Digimon Links. I've been playing it pretty much non-stop whenever I'm not driving, or if I'm just like chilling around the house, I'm always playing it. Okay, so I get rid of this thing's lefties, which is really nice, and then I get to taunt it, and then I'm going to super fang it, and then I'm going to beat it 1v1. <laughs> And then I think it'll be game. Go for taunt. Goes for scald, which is fine. That's fine. I just have to be paying attention to make sure taunt, uh, or that taunt doesn't wear off. Um, but his lefties are gone. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to roost up to prevent him from critting me and beating me. <laughs> that would be bad. Okay. So now I'm going to click Super Fang. Taunt did not wear off, right? I was typing a message. Yep, Taunt still has one more turn. And uh, Super Fang will take off 50%, and then that instantly puts me in range of Altaria's return, and that should be game. He has been so unlucky with Hurricane Confusions and Scald Burns. Holy crap. Holy crap. We're gonna taunt him again. I'm not gonna let him set up or uh, set up a wish for free. I'm not gonna let him roar. I'm not gonna let him do anything. It's, he's going to be forced to stay in here. Uh, so now he goes into his make a wish, which is with Jirachi. So. There's a couple of things I could do here. I'm going to go for a knockoff, and uh, so I'm expecting him to go for a U-turn here. Um, if he goes for Iron Head and tries to flinch me down, if he doesn't flinch me, then I get the knockoff off. Uh, does he flinch me? He does, which is fine. That is completely fine. Um, because now all I have to do is go into my... My what's it called? Empoleon. Thank you. This has been such a long game. Holy crap. That's 62 HP. And I go back to 57. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click Roar, expecting him to switch into his, uh, his uh, Vaporeon. I'm not going to allow that. He's not going to. He'll be at 25%, which I think my Infernape into it KO after it comes up in the box. Yep. So now Flare, now Flare Blitz does clean up this game. Um, I would like to try to keep the 5-0 if possible. Iron Head does 28% to my Infernape. I'm just going to go directly into my Infernape. There's no way that... If he goes for U-Turn, then I click Close Combat on the um, Vaporeon and I kill it. He went for Drain Punch, which is nice.
Jirachi, if it's max speed, takes a 100% minimum from this Flare Blitz. If he's not Scarfed, he dies. If he's bulky, Akaberry, then I should be able to still deal with it. As long as he doesn't flinch me down, but I'm I'm like 99% positive that he is Choice Scarfed. So he's going to sack off his Vaporeon here, which is pretty cool. Flare Blitz does 2 a care this thing after rocks. At least I'm pretty sure it kills Jirachi. The only thing that would stop that is if he's Akaberry. But he's not Akaberry. Like, he's Choice Scarfed. He... He has to be. Yeah. Let me just make sure that this kills, and it should be game. And that is game. That is a very long, freaking long 5-0 victory over automatic and his nuzleafs holy crap that was such a long game i hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure to leave a like down below for me if you didn't enjoy because it was a super long game i am truly sorry but still you should leave a like for me because it really helps me out and i'm doing really well in this league uh, but with that being said guys i'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here thank you all again so much for watching i truly truly appreciate it more than you guys will ever know but with that being said now i'm gonna get on out of here thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video Bye bye